Fuck. Um, let me do Square real quick. Square could make a Bitcoin mining system for the masses. Shout out my boy Square, man. Y'all like traditional finance? Hey, man, you might like Square. Trafi? Tradfi? Trafi? Trad. I forgot the acronym for it. DeFi and and. Whatever. I I love how that's a thing that too. Young kids be like, yo. <laughs> not even me. I mean, not even young kids, but like me. I'm like, yo, you like traditional finance, <laughs> or, you, or you like this heroin crypto shit, huh? Uh, Square. This is not a good site. PC Mag is trying to do an enterprise story for this, and I don't want an enterprise story. Give me some AP News or something, baby. Baby. Um, I heard Square a lot, man. Jack Dorsey says Square may build a Bitcoin mining system adding to a Bitcoin price surge. Where CEO Jack Dorsey said late on Friday the company might jump into the Bitcoin mining business. Dorsey tweeted that the company is considering a Bitcoin mining system based on custom silicone and open source for individuals and businesses worldwide. If Square does execute on this, Dorsey said the company would follow its hardware wallet model build in the open and in collaboration with the community twitter also has a project where they're they're doing a decentralized social media so yeah that's good um dorsey's goal would be to make crypto mining the process of creating new bitcoins by solving increasingly complex computational problems more accessible much as Square's original version vision was to make it easier for small businesses and independent proprietors to take credit card payments. I could hmm. see I could see the parallel. A little different with payments and kind of income. He wrote that the Bitcoin mining should be as easy as plugging a rig into a power source. I like the vision, Jack. I like it. Today, the Bitcoin mining industry is dominated by large-scale players who can afford to buy tens of thousands of ASICs. Can you define ASIC for me? No. Oh, you want me to look at that? No, I mean, I just off top ASIC. Can you actually? Application-specific integrated circuit. No, of course, of course. A type of specialty gear used to mint a new coin. The team run Jesse Dorogusker who is the hardware lead at Square, will begin studying the technology necessary to take this project on, according to Dorsey. Just one one chick in a room studying Bitcoin mining. <laughs> hey, get to work. I want to go talk to the press about what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah, we have this one girl, Jesse. She's she's going hard on the internet. And, uh, you know, I, I have the utmost faith that she's going to give us something that we need, baby. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Getting like, yeah, I didn't even just named in a tweet like yeah we got jesse on it. i just got the job and i'm already in the newspaper jesse's like yo what she she didn't get the that that's her notification of her leading the team She's of like, fuck i guess i got a promotion of user accessible hardcore hardware mining but jesse does say that afshin Razai the leader and architect of Square's Silicon team in Toronto since 2015 will lead the project, given Silicon is at the core of this new initiative. Silicon? Silicon? Aluminium. What is Silicon? <laughs> Isn't it like a metal or something? I would assume so. And that's what most things are made out of. Silicon is a chemical element with the symbol SI atomic number four. It's a hard, brittle, crystalline, solid thing. Why is it called Silicon Valley? Because that's what most computer and hardware stuff is made out of. It's originally referred to the large number of innovators of manufacturers in the region specializing in silicon-based MOS transistors and integrated circuit chips. The popularization of the name is credited to Don Hofler. Come on, Don. Silicon Valley. I don't like it anymore. Don was Don was over there. He's like, yo, let's call this joint Silicon Valley, huh? Like, here we are, man. Love Silicon Valley. And now I'm just like, ugh, get me out of here. Are you in Silicon are you in Silicon Valley? No, I'm not. No, I'm not right now. But like I used to go there every year to visit my grandpa. Sure. And now it's like I go back there and Everyone either works for 
Google, eBay, PayPal, or Starbucks. That's that that's up. that's a good case study, man. That's, that's some companies you might want to get towards, eh? And it's like even it's even worse. I thought it couldn't. There's no way it could be worse than LA, where people care about what you do more than who you are. Yeah. And it's like or so. <laughs> they, you tell them your name, immediately they forget it, and they're just waiting for you to ask them what they do so they can tell you that they're a, a hot new startup that was acquired by Elon Musk. What do you do? Oh, graphic design. That's cool. I breathe usually. Yeah. So when someone asked me, is a, a, I hadn't seen them. <laughs> it was an, is an elder fellow. And he was like, so what do you do for a living? And I said, I, I usually breathe. <laughs> I work <laughs> Patagonia every day. Yeah, that's the thing too. Oh, man. Dude, there was a there was a RZA collaboration with North Face. I thought that was kind of funny. That's random. Apparently, it might have been a thing. Oh, I tweaked my shoulder, man. I think I was doing push-ups wrong. I, I, I saw someone said wide stance for you get more chest, right? Mm -hmm. But then I looked up shoulder tweaking for push-ups, and everyone was like, "Yo, if your if your elbows are out, you're probably ruining your rotator cuff." I was like, "Oh, I've been doing that for like." Four months. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So Just the shoulders last night at the gym, first time and like doing shoulders in like three weeks because my shit was fucked up. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I felt so I, it still kind of hurt. I was like, I'm just gonna go. But I fucking just oh God, I was in there till 4 a.m. That's something. Yeah, it was quite the workout. Doing abs, going hard on abs. So I don't want to get fat. Yeah, I also thought that doing, because that's what I did in the mornings as well. But I thought that might have tweaked my neck, shoulder. I just wasn't. I just I don't know. I've been doing little micro exercises plus other exercising for like since March, every day. So I really need to jog, but I need new shoes. My shit's so, fucking. I had my I had a couple weeks of of running, but it, like. I stopped doing squats because my right knee would pop. Oh no! And I think it's a muscle thing where it's just tight, but I, I'm not positive. But I thought my knee might have been bad, so I thought running might have made it bad. But I might go for a run. It's just being a pussy. That made it well, I don't know, dude. Like your knee doesn't pop when you do squats, does it? Like crack, like make noise. Well, yeah, sometimes. It I think there's, hurt. There's, there's two sounds though. I think I think one is like. A bone thing and then another thing is is muscle grinding on each other because it's tight i think as long as i don't feel pain like <laughs> i'm sure it's okay Dude, that's not, i don't want to wake up and be like oh man i was just i was just ruining my body in my 20s and, and then a couple decades from now i'm just like oh my god this hurts i think uh, i don't know I, I think about the point where I, I know how to exercise correctly because i used to be ruining my shit my wrists used to always be sprained Mm. My fucking like, I always just be like, like this because I like, yeah. couldn't stretch. Yeah, stretch. And, you yeah, now, yoga like, every every uh, oh a yoga session once a week or what? I should do that, but I don't. This is what I've been doing instead of legs, dude, because I'm scared I'm gonna break my knee. I got a few legs. Got to legs twice a week. I was on arms, legs. Arms, yoga, arms, legs. No, no back, no chest. Well, I mean, upper body, lower body. Uh, I'm not, I'm not in a gym, so it's kind of dependent on what I watch. But yeah, a lot of backs, a lot of shoulders. Probably the least amount is chest, actually, which is I don't like. Um, uh, if you get really big arms, it's gonna look gross. If you just have a fat chest. I knew a guy. <laughs> it looked so gross. His chest was so flat. It was disgusting. But I'm also I'm not putting up hella weight right now because I only have like my set of dumbbells, which is like my eyes is like 35. So yeah. I'm super like lean, but I'm not putting up hella weight, which I eventually I did go up. So like when I'm supposed, that's what I think I might have tweaked my shoulder because I was doing like I was doing this joint with like oh. a 35. It's heavy. It's kind of, yeah. It's a, I, like 15 on this. <laughs> it's okay. Jesus okay. Christ. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. 
All right, I might have I might have found the source. <laughs> God damn. No, but I was like, yo, I like I I can't because I, I'm not putting up hella weight. So like I like I have to do like my small I, my head fit space was like I have to do my small weights that I would usually do with my heavier weights. Uh -huh. And I was doing this joint <laughs> and just fucking. Yeah. Can you lift your hand hand over your head? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It was just but do what it was though. I also had like compression when I was breathing in my chest, uh, so I, <laughs> I I didn't know if that was like I'm pretty sure it's it's related, but I also thought I might have been like dying of COVID for a second. I uh, died of COVID, but it's really just this dirty bong I'm smoking out of. You still smoking smoking yeah, bongs, dude? Come dude, on. that's ribbon bong, dude. I also had a had a <laughs> I have really old weed that I break out like once a month. Yeah, and I don't know if that was also like in my chest. I don't know if it was bad. I don't really want to research because someone will say no, don't do that. But like, I like having half a joint for every two months or so. I just look up dirty bong bad. <laughs> yes, Google says yes. They're just like oh, it's not great. 